What's good? It's your boy, Trip Gaming. Oh shit, my voice cracked. It's your boy. Welcome back to the Trip Universe. Today's video, we're gonna be breaking down the very, very, very best version of Orcus in the game. All these garbage version of Orcus are topping, so why don't I show you guys the very best. Hey Trip, is it Trickstar Orcus? Oh shit. Idiotic comments like that will not be tolerated in the Trip Universe. Now, if you're like Thanos and think that Trickstar Orcus is the best version of Orcus, you might not be feeling very good in a few minutes. If you're like the rest of us and actually have a brain, anyone with a brain would realize it was the greatest Orcus deck known to mankind. And unfortunately, no, it is not Pendulums. The best version of Orcus is... Drum roll, please! Uh, hey Trip, sir. Uh, I know you're trying to build suspense here, but uh, there's absolutely zero suspense here. Everyone uh, can just read the title. <laughs> I don't feel so good. With this Infinity Gauntlet, I'm unstoppable. The best version of Orcus is... ABC Orcus. Cause we're gonna give him the D later, baby! A, B, C, D, Orcus is too damn good! Enjoy the video! I'm gonna go revive these idiots with the Dragon Balls so just so I can kill them again for sport. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Go check out the links in the description below. Enjoy the video! Uh, shit. Uh... Oh, uh, shit. Uh... I, oh, fuck. Uh... My bad. I thought it was for my... I have a baby sister and... Uh... I'm, my baby sister likes this song, so she likes when I sing the song. So that's why I did it. But uh hey, yeah, let's go, baby. A B C D danger orcus, etc. You light up my world like nobody else. I'm gonna show you guys right now, right now, why A B C D Orcus is the best version of Orcus in the game, even better than Pendulum. See, the thing with the Orcus variant is it needs to have synergy with certain stuff, right? Obviously. And the beauty of the ABC pieces are they all float fantastic and one oh hey hey busters of light how are you gonna do it but you go buster before you uh go on orcus combo you play a shit ton of dangers and literally, literally one danger and one piece equals buster uh the whole orcus combo for interruptions and plus since you have so many ways to terraform field spells like terraforming set rotation the actual field spells itself you get climax as well so it's like you end up six negates a lot of the time so i actually got some random hand here two random hands that are rolling in the deck profile uh, we're gonna go super fast so we can have uh, time for everything. We even drew our boy Mirror Mirror as I do in every single hand. Uh, but the beauty of this deck is it's incredible going first or second, especially going second. Uh, which is why I love the pop ABCD Orca so much. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys right now. All you need is one danger. You have about th 30 extenders in the deck and it's not a danger to the Sturdo, which you have so many ways to get into. There we discard the thing, it's okay, like it doesn't matter. Uh, you're gonna wanna <clears throat> use the dangers first in, in case they discard one of your pieces. Because of pieces, you're gonna have, you only need one piece and the one you get from Hanger and the rest you're gonna get. Unfortunately, we can discard, oh, discard Mammoth, draw the Strudel, how unfortunate, but that's okay. We're going to a Nightmare Guard, uh, and then we're gonna use the, the piece to get whatever we, we're missing. We chose to get A here because we already had a C. You don't need any more monsters on field. We could have uh, done it in a way where we special the next to monster on board, maybe the Strudel after, maybe get an extra negate, but you don't need that extra negate. You'd rather save the cards in your hand as opposed to put multiple negates on board. Then we're going to Mermaid, and you're gonna go into, there, like you gotta pick, what are you gonna ask? You're gonna ask a Hanger, you're gonna ask this, like you must ask something. If you ask them, you don't even know the Orcas are coming, because people expect ABCs, right? Uh, so it's absolutely amazing how the, uh, the synergy goes, and how you just need one danger, and you end up resolving that you get the one danger and one Hanger. One danger, one Hanger equals six negates, or five negates, so it's like, it's pretty crazy. And Buster gives you not just the negates, but the best follow-up. As you see there, Terraforming is gonna get Babel, simply because, uh, this is gonna get climax, so that way you get a free spell trying to get as well. And since you have so many ways to field spell searches, uh, you end up uh, searching for the Babel most of the time. So you end up hard drawing Babel, climax, or any of the three searcher, uh, field spell searchers, so there's five. You end up getting climax on top, but the beauty of it is three of those five also search your triple cards and your hangers, so it's absolutely amazing. The synergy of the deck. And the way the pseudos work, going first, going second, the deck is honestly absolutely amazing. We could have ended up with a dragster on top if we wanted to, but we don't even play dragster in the extra deck because we don't need the, you don't need more than this. You're gonna end up with this board 99% of the time. Well, 90% of the time you end on this board, plus the fog blade you're gonna see soon. Yeah, 90% of the time you end on this board minus the climax or crescendo, whatever it's called now. 
Oh, you're 90 to 5% of the time you're gonna have Buster, Double Fog Blade, and then the Dingirsu Blade. So that's six, uh, five instructions. So Buster, Dingirsu Pop, Rusty Pop, that's five, that's three. Double Fog Blade, five. And hey, it's not a pendulum, it's not a pen god deck without a real gate, right? So uh, you get the climax a shit ton of time as well, because you end up searching for the battle anyway, with all the field spell searches. Anyways, we're gonna go uh, the next duel. Uh, so over here, same idea. Uh, we have Hanger, like, you don't even need Hanger a lot of times, but hey, it does help the situation. You end up, they have so many draw cards on the deck. You play a flat 40 with like four or seven draw cards. You have the 15 of dangers, like, you always draw whatever you need. Uh, that's absolutely remarkable. Uh, yeah, you're gonna notice a lot of people are gonna say, what are the Ash Murmur? You can't work us combo. Yeah, that's every work us deck. And most of the time, you're gonna hard draw work us. And if you don't, it's like, then they gotta deal with Buster and Rusty. So in the situation now, let's say they, they ashed it. If they ash this, for example, they still gotta do a double Pug Blade and Buster with four, four, uh, five cards in their hand. So, which they can't, most decks can't do. Only Pendulum can do that. So let's say they ash this right now, right? So you, you suddenly go Buster, Special Jacko, Special Desudo, Underclock, Rusty. So then you're still gonna end up with. Because you have so many damn turbo cards in this deck, you're still gonna, or extender, sorry, you're still gonna end up with Buster, double fog blade, even through, uh, if they get, if they interrupt, uh, the mermaid, which most of the time the mermaid's interrupted, or because decks pass, right? So it's like, now you get to do so much more than that. So now let them, let them ash, let them ash mermaid, who gives a shit? You're just gonna end up with Buster and double fog blade instead, so who cares? Uh, but then if they don't ash the mermaid, you end on, uh, the double fog blade, the Buster, uh, uh, climax and dig gears to play as well so it's like why not here like i said you have a shit ton of ways to feel spells we're gonna set rotation one of them i realized it right then i'm gonna have to get climax instead uh climax is set here but uh there we go it's just the exact same combo here uh you, and uh the beauty of it hey like look at this like this is the thing we're gonna have i'm gonna zip it yeah, that's two right there this is the uh deck football itself we do only play one c one c is all you need uh, you don't want to draw, hard draw. Like, the hard draw these are fine. It doesn't matter. There's pieces or something to discard from your hand with, but you'd much rather just get it from your infinity ways to get hanger. So if you look at it, you have six ways to get hanger in a 36 card deck, uh, but there's 10 dangers. So dangers kind of upstart. So you have a 26 card deck and you have six hangers. So you're going to draw hanger a lot of the time. Uh, drawing too many of the pieces suck. Traditional ABC decks play three of each. That's why traditional ABC decks suck. You don't want to see C. You don't want to see A either. You only need double A because uh, in the grind game, double A just searches itself on and on and on. So you never run out of double A's. That's why you, that's the only reason you play double A, otherwise you play only one A. And then you need double B as well. And then double B, double A, one C is all you need. You don't need double C whatsoever. The only time you ever need double C is they call by the game to C. But if they call by the game to C, you already win the duel. Like that's the last of the, your worries or their worries. 10 dangers, all you need. I didn't want to play, I wanted to wanted to play more, but there's just no space. Uh, triple Destrudo and Mare Mare. Uh, it's just so damn good, honestly. You end up with the uh, Dragon Ravine option to have more turbo cards, and the Strudel itself is just amazing in this deck. The double Orcus Nightmare, one hard four, one skeleton. You don't need to play uh, the other uh, the other World Legacy card. One cloak, one boots for the combo. You actually only need one boots simply because you already you always have an extra monster to <coughs> special off, but it doesn't matter. Playing extra dangerous <coughs> is really just to make the nightmare combo. After that, you don't need more. A uh, cool thing to note, I am debating playing a Bigfoot or a Thunderbird because uh, Big Bird, Th Bigfoot and Thunderbird is another negate on their interruption on their turn because Buster will discard the Bigfoot or Thunderbird and pop it. But I opted for the most uh, non bricky deck in the game uh, possible for this deck. Uh, it's a definitely good. I think I'm going to side it actually. I'm going to change this little mid while I'm doing this. I'm going to take out uh, one Black Guardian and one Twin Twister for one, uh, one Bigfoot and one Thunderbird. You want to have as many options here. Uh, going second, it's just absolutely amazing to uh, just have them in the deck or just to be able to search it out with Nessie. Uh, and have Buster discard. And you have so many discard outlets, so they actually turn out fantastic. Uh, next, uh, triple hanger, two different, obviously. One's rotation, obviously. The one dragon intervene, which is amazing, amazing, amazing in any deck that plays a field spell that has dangers in it. Because you end up just discarding a danger and you send a strudo. So it's like, it's a one card. If you get your whole Yazi play off, it's amazing. One Babu, obviously, one upstart triple lore. Double Ravine is an option, but I felt it wasn't necessary. One Crescendo is all that's necessary. Double Fog Blade. Super tight deck. The only card that's optional is to get one Mothman for a Bigfoot. I would believe that's the only thing I would change. But I do like the Mothman anyways. Uh, my other list played a Dweller, but there's no reason for another interruption. It's simply because you always put up infinite interruptions, so there's no reason for more. Why do you need seven interruptions when six is already auto win when they have six cards? So our five is auto win, like there's no reason for more. I'd rather see the cards in hand for going second. 
uh, or to clear the board afterwards. The side deck, uh, eight hand drops, ten hand drops. Typhoon's extremely underrated in this format. Two of each because I never want to see more than one. And a lot of the time, like you don't need six versions of being in permanent. So you basically play four of these. Good. It's good you can use them more than once per turn. But I hate playing triple of a hand trap. You only use. Uh, once like they brick already so why would you want to play multiples when they'll brick that you don't need they're not game changers none of them end turns no hand trap in the game right now ends turns uh so just two of each uh to never be too much but to be just enough right and to be able to play the correct uh, ratio if you ever want to side out the abc cards there's eight cards to side out which is perfect uh, the way the side deck is uh, you could uh, easily take out eight of these and uh, put eight in depending on the matchup or you could take out different variant going second you could take out the pk cards whatever it may be that's why i like twos uh, it's very easy to side in and out, and you can take any engine you want. Uh, now for Mystic Mind Typhoon, the beauty of it, you can play against Mystic Mind or against Endymion or against uh, Orcus Dex, which is seeing a lot of play right now. So it, it's very versatile. Same with Earth Permanence and Ash, very versatile. A a Valor, uh, Ogre, even a lot of these could be thrown in almost any matchup, which is why I really like like it. Except Ogre, but still, there's a lot of stuff you can play Ogre for. Double Twister and Black Garden. We want Black Garden on the option for terraforming. And then one big one, one Thunderbird. And then I think a Thunderbird for a third one Twister, actually. Twister. Simply because it's so good. And I'd rather big put against back row decks anyways, just in case they have a floodgate, which is really what, what you're scared of only. Uh, next, extra deck, one Mermaid, one, one of each Nightmare, one Unicorn, double Galatea. Uh, I'm going to make one change as I'm going through this right now. I completely forgot we need an underclock in here. So an underclock is only for when you get hand trapped and you can't do the Orcus combo. You still resolve Buster and double Fog Blade, which is more than enough to win through five hand, five cards that they have. So one of each Nightmare, double Galateo, you need for the combo, one underclock, one Rusty, the same combo, all is necessary. Borla Borla Sword, as you didn't realize, this deck's amazing going first. You don't need to throw in Dwellers or like more Orcus cards. You don't need to do that. The second you set up your board, you just want to OTK after that. So there's no better cards than a bunch of Nightmares and Boral cards to OTK and Yazi. So there's no other cards you need for that. I will refuse to not play Boral Load. I refuse to not to play Boral Load, especially against a Thunder Dragon format. You don't need to play more than Gearsus and Galateas. I understand that Gearsus is a great card, but you just don't need it whatsoever. You can revive it if absolutely need be. This is a perfect ratio right here, uh, in, in my opinion. You want to save your extra deck for cards that are good going second, because going first, you already have so many cards to like whoop their ass. And then uh, double buster is all you need for this. It's not you're not playing pure ABCs here. You're playing an ABC variant, so uh, you don't need a lot. Like one of each piece is all that's necessary. But five is just the number I had through multiple lots of lots of matches, and two buster is the best amount I found to be able, uh, the perfect ratio to win. So guys, that's a deck. Drop a uh, drop a subscribe. I was just about to say that. Drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. This deck's honestly remarkable. I'm not even gonna the boost about it. It's amazing. Try it for yourself. I'm gonna drop the link in the description, uh, the download link. So go try it out for yourself. The building book is honestly amazing. No hand I've ever had with this deck sucked. Uh, so hope you like the video. Uh, look at these random test hands before I end off. Uh, this hand right here is combo. This hand right here is combo. Well, no buster because you have no ABC cards, but you're gonna draw twice through hang, uh, Sukunoko and Nessie. And what do you know? You're gonna end up drawing Hanger. So you have the combo there. These five, you have the combo here again. You have a Disturdo and a Terraforming combo. Like any way to get a monster on field and a Terraforming or a Hanger is the, the, the five and six negates. Uh, let's see the next five. So Terraforming, Disturdo, Ravine, P. Oh, yeah, right here you have it. Let's see the next hand. Here, uh, you're gonna draw with Nessie and Sukunoko Mothma. You're gonna draw the hangers, you're gonna have it again. Because uh, don't forget, you all these cards draw one, right? Like Nessie draws one, Suk draws one, Moth draw, draw one. You draw into the hanger if you don't have it. That's the beauty of the deck. So, hanger, allure, allure, boots. So, here we're missing a danger. So, uh, well, we have we get to draw four cards. We're gonna use one allure, we have set rotation and crescendo, and we have it. Because we'll banish this and we have the combo like this. Because set rotation can get you destrudo, you have the combo. The next five. Uh, you have field spell danger, you have it. Next five. Uh, you have a lure of darkness. We'll go to the next two. Okay, so for this one, you have the combo, but no Buster. But you can still get Buster because you're gonna draw into a, a B and you have an A already, so you can still get Buster. Like you bust, this is Buster without Hanger, which is really uh, you just need a B and another piece to do that. So you hard draw B and any other piece. You don't even need Hanger to, to resolve the whole Buster combo. So literally eight hands eight, that we showed you guys right here. Eight hand. I just shuffled it up. The first eight hands I showed you guys, what they like right here, uh, alone did the whole combo. So it's like every hand does it. Hope you guys like the video. See you in the next video. Peace.